All right, so I am apologizing. As you can see, I'm slackily attempting to do a Lolita vlog. I did not feel like getting all super frilly, only because tomorrow is International Lolita Day. And my community, they're having a dinner, a 21 and over dinner, which we haven't had a 21 and over event in a long time. But they're having a 21 and over dinner, and then a couple of us are going to the comedy club. I am not actually going to the dinner. I am just going to go to the comedy club, which means I'm not going to be in Frill Regalia tomorrow. But I will be in Frill Regalia on Sunday, because Sunday they're supposed to be having a brunch at the main tea spot we go to. So I will be completely in Lolita for that. So... Tomorrow is International Lolita Day, and whatever you choose to do with your day, be it tea with some friends, walking around a garden somewhere with your friends, you don't feel like hanging out with anybody, you just feel like being frilly all by yourself, you just go and have a good time, wear your pretty frills, and rock it for all it's worth. Me, I'm probably going to be sleeping, because I'm like real tired, I'm real tired right now, <laughs> hence why I only have my newest sash on, and I don't have anything else on, so, um... So, I'm pretty much going to leave this a really short... I was going to try to, like, do a discussion about tea and the different kinds of teas. At some point, I will do a tea tasting in for a vlog because I have a lot of teas from literally around the world. I have a Japanese tea. I have tea from the United Arab Emirates. I have tea from China. I have local tea. I have... I just have tea coming out of my ears. And then I just bought some tea at the last tea party I went to. So, at one point, and of course, you know, when I got drunk on that one vlog, I got drunk off of tea wine. So, I have tea everywhere. So, I'm going to do a tasting one day, but not today. And I was going to talk about the different kind of teas, like ribose and black, and give like a little, and like do something all spiffy or hoity-toity or whatever. And I just, I really don't feel like doing it. I'm barely doing this Lolita vlog. So, I'm only going to talk about two things as soon as my husband gets out of my hair. Okay, it's summer, and everyone is home all day, and it's going to be real hard to vlog. It's always hard to vlog in the summer, but I only have two topics I'm going to really be covering-ish today, and this will be probably a relatively short Lolita vlog today. So, a couple, like about an hour or two ago, because I did a video game vlog, which was kind of long, um... But an hour or two ago, I got an email from Sue Fluffle Song, and they had just announced a new outfit. Generally, I lately have not really been into Sue Fluffle Song. Um, I recently, I just said I bought some tea when I went to a tea party. Remember Black Requiem and when I did the, um, the unboxing for that and I did not like the way it, I looked in it? I tried it on, hence losing 70 plus pounds. And it looks really, 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 really cute. It looks like how it looked on the chick in the picture. So I'm starting to feel that outfit. Finally, I'm starting to dig on it. So, yeah, that's actually, it's a deary little back there. It's like looking at me too. I'm looking out my window. It's a deary little back there hiding in the bushes. Let me see, not just segue, but let me take this and move it. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but it's hiding in the tree line over there. I see its little ears. It's just sitting there. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't think you can see it, but yeah, there's a deer sitting out there. That's kind of cool. But um, Deary Lewis, it just, it's just, it's like she's looking at me too. It's kind of freaky. Hold on, I'm sitting on my sash. Um, yeah, it's kind of freaky that she's just sitting out there like, ooh, what's going on? I'm just going to watch this human do a vlog, even though I don't know what that is. So, but, um, to Fluffle Song, I haven't really been feeling a lot of their outfits. A lot of their stuff has been very generic. And I know they pissed off a lot of people, um, recently with their airy, eros, er, erotic, basically, Lolita. Like, it's just basically Lolita underclothes. Um, they've pissed off a lot of people with that. A lot of people really did not like that. I, myself, am rather indifferent to it. If you want to wear Aero Lolita, you do you. But I don't care one way or another. So, 
because of all kind of like their mixed bag of whatever has been going on with them, they haven't really been coming out with super cute designs until now. Today they announced the coronation of Bumier and that whole series. Unfortunately, I do not think they have custom for this. Yeah, it only goes up to an extra large and even I would have problems with the extra large for the one piece. The extra large, the bust only goes up to 97 inches. My tape measure is way over there. So, actually, let's see what 97 inches is talking. Hold on. All right, so I have my tape measure. And I'm the beginning of this bad boy. Okay, they're saying the bust to the goes up to 97 inches. And I'll show you once. You're going to be wanting it. And you're going to be kicking yourself, too. So, or not 97. 97 cm, probably, because 97 inches. Everybody could fit 97 inches. Yeah. That's 97 inches. All of this, most 90% of this tape measure is 97 inches. This thing goes up to, like, 120 inches. Inches, not cm, inches. Yeah, so we gotta go way down. 97 centimeters is 97 is right there. 97 cm. Oh, is a 38 inch bust. So unless you, oh, the theory move's gone. Damn. Um, but unless you have a 38 inch bust. I can't get it all in the, in the image, but that's as far as that's going to stretch for the, I wonder, I don't think I can fit in a 38 inch bust. Ooh. Nope. It's like, my chest is like, no, please, no. So yeah, no, even I can't do 38 inches or 97 cm is too small even for my chest but and that makes me sad because this is the dress that is adorable this one piece is gorgeous this is one of the most beautiful outfits they have come out with in a long 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 time and it's a cat print and for me i'm not saying for anybody else for me i am so tired of the cat prints cat prints have been going around so hard this year and i'm just tired of the cat prints and i love cats granted i have a dog but i grew up all my life having cats and i love cats i just don't want a dress with cats on it so but i was willing to deal because look at this you can't tell me that's not cute so i was like well damn i can't look at this this is adorable. This is so fluffle song. I am rather impressed with you because lately it's not been popping at all. So, and then they have a red version. Sorry, I know you can't. I know it's glary. And one day I will get my shit together to be able to put pictures in. That ain't today. So, but it's got, it's so cute. It's so cute. And I so can't squeeze my tits into it. And it just makes me sad. But... Oh, well, I'm not willing to have a breast reduction and take my nipples off for for Lolita's sake. I need my nipples more than I need some Lolita, because, like, no. But they do have um, a jumper skirt, which is cute, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to hate on the jumper skirt. It's super cute as well. That's looking real cute. And then they also have this one in red. Here's, like, the red-blue rundown. So, um, but I don't think the, but the bust of that, because it does have the stretchy in it, it, for the extra large, it goes up to 100 cm. 100 cm, 100 cm, which is like 39 inches in some change, which means I can't, I still can't, 30, yeah, that's 100 right there. And, yeah, it's 39 in, like, a couple of ticks. So, I still can't even fit in. And that's for the extra large JSK. If you can 
fit into those measures. Of course, they have, like, smaller. Like, the small, the bus goes from 76.5 cm to 88 cm. Let's do 88 cm. Like, 34 and some change. 34 inches. So, if you could fit into, like, that, and then, it, like I said, it, the... The medium is 80.5 cm to 92, the large is 84.5 to 96, and um, the extra large is 88.5 to 100 cm. So if you can fit into any of those measurements, then you'll be able to get you some Coronation of Lumiere JSK. The, um, the one piece... And it's only, the JSK is only $58, basically. The one piece is $117, basically. So, that's like some good price. And this is so cute. And this sash. This sash, though. I am in love with this sash. So, and then it has like a, um, this is what the sash is talking. And that's like $13. Wasn't it 13? Yeah, 12.99. But it's like 13 bucks, give or take some pennies. Um, and then you have the $17 headbow, which is pretty spiffy. So that's really cute too. I wish I could fit into it, but alas, I can't fit into it. And it's just like, man, even when I lose weight, y'all still be giving me grief about stuff. So sorry the sash was making me a little hot. So, um,. There is the one other last thing I wanted to talk about was about two weeks ago, the news had dropped on Chinese Lolita updates. I think that's what they were called on Facebook. Um, they were talking that long ears, sharp ears, and L Press were going to be in a collaboration, and everybody was like waiting for that with bated breath. Yeah, Chinese Lolita updates. That's what it was called. And I was I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be amazing because L Press does they're expensive. Do not get me wrong. L Press does some amazing damn designs. They do stuff that's like next level of gorgeous. But their stuff generally tends to be three and four hundred dollars. But I'm assuming, because I don't own anything by L Press, that the quality that you're getting from L Press is, like, real, real good. So, and we all know, I have the Kingdom of the Fairies JSK, so we all know that was pretty rocking and gorgeous, and the construction on it was pretty airtight, too. So, to hear that two real powerhouses of Chinese Taobao Lolita was going to come together to make one gorgeous, drool-tastic dress... I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm just, I'm too poor to be able to afford it. So, they came out with some images, and I think this was for a limited time. L Press Long Ears Sharp Ears CP22 Limited Pre-Order won't be sold online in the future. I don't take orders for this one. The spot is used. So, basically, because Chinese Lolita updates, you can order from them. I'm not quite sure how you order from them. But if you're willing to sit and deal, I'm sure you can figure it out. But they're not, they weren't even taking orders on this. So, um, this is the collaboration right here. That dress is adorable. It looks like Kingdom of the Fairies. They took the Kingdom of the Fairies motif and, and print and, like, just monstrously updated it. Like, upgraded, not updated, upgraded it. See that? That is beautiful. Oh, I want this so bad, and I'm never going to have it. I'm never going to be able to get it. Never in a million years. And even if I did, it probably wouldn't be able to go across my damn chest, which makes me, continuously makes me sad. And here's it. Yeah. This is the print. This is literally the print from Kingdom of the Fairies. I wish I could do better with, with like, so I'm not doing shit like this. But that is beautiful. In the, oh my god, the, the craftsmanship in this. Look at this. 
all that lovely lace, all the ruffles and the frills. I want it. And it ain't happening for me. And they all look happy. They're like, we got some shit you ain't getting. And yes, they do. They got some shit that I'm surely not getting. So, <sighs> I want it so much. <sighs> so, that is all I have on this pre international Lolita day. And I am tired. I don't even know why I feel so tired. But, um,. If you can fit into that um, Sue Fluffle song outfit, I would say scoop that up because that is one of the best designs they have come out with in a while. <laughs> so, oh man, damn it. If they just gave to like 45, if they had just given the 45 inches, I could have fit in and joined and been happy. But no, just messing me all up so that is all i have and i'm gonna take my disappointment and go lie down somewhere so i will see y'all next time all right